All right, so you know how Chromebooks are extremely underpowered. They have terrible software and all that. I'm gonna show you today how you can get any other OS on there, including Windows and theoretically Mac OS, but I'm not gonna be showing you that today. So let's get started. So now we're on my Chromebook. And as you can see, we are running Chrome OS. So first, we're going to go to the Microsoft.com and download Windows 11 from there. This is the official Microsoft website, and it is completely safe. So we'll scroll down, and then select the download to be Windows 11, and then we will download now. We will wait for it to validate, we'll choose the product language to be English International, but you can change that to whatever language you speak as your first language, of course. But for this guide, I will be using English International. Press Confirm. Then we will be downloading it, and we'll just have to wait. By the way, if your computer is too weak to handle normal Windows 11, you can always download Tiny 11, which is Windows 11, but without all the bloatware that Microsoft pushes onto your device. Just remember, you need to have a legal code to be able to activate this version of Windows. Alright, so now that we've downloaded Windows 11 from the official Microsoft website, we'll have to turn on Linux development environment. This is so that it can actually start running the Windows operating system on our Chromebook. We'll have to at least have 46 gigabytes of data on our Linux hard drive, but you can have more or less. Now that we've started Linux on our Chromebook, we can start downloading the files needed to run Windows 11 on our computer. Now that we're in terminal, we can now run the code that I have put into the description of this video to start downloading the VMware that will be running Windows 11 on our computer. Now that we're this far, please like and comment on this video and be sure to subscribe. I'm so close to 1000 and I really appreciate it if you would. Anyway, this is what your screen should look like if you've done everything right. Now we're going to have to go to the Files app to start transferring all our files to the Linux distribution. Now that we're in the Files app, we can bring our Windows 11 or Tiny 11 build into our Linux files so that Linux knows where it is and can access it to run. Now that we've downloaded the Windows Virtual Machine software, we can now create the instance of Windows on our computer. We will choose Local Media Install and browse our internal files. Choose Tiny11 if your computer is weak, but choose the normal Windows 11 ISO if your computer is strong enough to handle it. For this tutorial, I will be choosing Tiny11. If you choose normal Windows 11, it should automatically register as Windows 10, but if, it, if you are using Tiny11, you will have to manually insert the OS. We will choose Windows 10. At least have two gigabytes of memory, or 4096 memory, and at least have two CPUs. At least have 40 gigabytes or 60 if you're using the normal Windows 10 install. And now you can name the computer whatever you want. In this case, I will be naming it Tutorial. And you may finish. And now you will have to start the virtual network and wait for it to create the virtual machine. And now, you have Windows 11 running on your computer. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and the rest of the install will be just the same if you were using it on another computer. Thank you for watching.